Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. We're making some arepas. Arepas. Um, what we're doing with these arepas is it's simply gonna be arepas, arepas with um with queso. So cheese arepas. And this is gonna be really quick, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm using masarepa. Masarepa is a uh it's a pre-cooked white cornmeal, which is the one I'm using. I'm using the white cornmeal. So I'm using about two cups of this. Two cups of water. I'm using some um, mozzarella cheese. If you prefer, you can use something else. And we're using some some salt. Simple, simple, simple. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. And this simply, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to put one, two cups of the the flour two cups of the flour and we're adding um a little bit of salt directly to our um directly to our our flour i'm eyeballing the the salt i am using kosher salt which is my preference so simple make sure your hands are clean before you start because you, you will be using your hands on this and what I'm gonna go ahead and get started with is simply starting by adding my my uh, my water my water is uh, a little warm I'm gonna add a little bit at a time and start incorporating it with my fingers using my fingers as my beaters so Again, this is all um, on feel. And as you can tell, it's still dry and split in, spl in places. So, all I'm doing here is simply massaging the water. So, I'm using equal parts water and, um, and flour. Now, the reason I'm not adding all the flour at once, it's because... You don't want to, you don't want lumpiness. You want everything to be a smooth um, batter. And now what I'm doing is that I'm pressing it within my fingers. What that does is break up any little um, any little thing that I had in there that did not um, get mixed. And I'm gonna add cheese to this. I added I don't know a little more than a cup, maybe about a cup. And we want to massage it in all the way. You might need a little bit more water if you feel that the masa is too um, is too dry. But we will see. So what we're going to do here is simply massage it in. Get all that beautiful cheese directly in it. You know what? I just might as well finish the cheese. It's not much cheese left. So... This is the part that for the arepa. Now we will be using some more cheese to fill the arepas with. So what we want to do here, I am going to add just a, a tiny touch more of water just to get it incorporated. And the reason I'm doing this now is because I need this to rest in a minute. So this is our batter we want to make sure that our batter it's smooth and beautiful it's a beautiful beautiful looking um beautiful looking batter here beautiful dough sorry not batter so I want to show you okay so what we're gonna do here is simply allow that to rest we're going to cover it we're going to cover it and let it rest for about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, I just preheated my pan and I'm going to shut it off for now. And I'm simply going to take a little bit of my masa in my hands. Uh, probably the size of a softball. Yeah, a little smaller than a softball. And what we're going to do is simply, simply, simply go around and we're going to start flattening with our hands right we're going to flatten just a little bit you can wet your hands 
so that way um you get a more of a smoother and then we're gonna clap we're gonna go ahead and turn this back on and i'm gonna add butter to this and let the butter start to melt while i finish So I just want to show you more or less what it's going to be looking like. You can make them a little bigger or a little smaller. Okay, so we're going to set this aside while that heats up. And I'm going to go ahead and prep one more. So again, I am taking my dough. See how soft it is? And I am going to make it into a ball and once I get it to the ball I'm going to start flattening the ball for making sure that we you know try to get it uniform flatten it to the thickness that you want it and I'm just going to clap just to get yourself that's all I'm doing I'm not over over clapping i'm not i'm not making it too too flat depends how flat you want it so more or less i'm going there and i'm simply going to go ahead and put it directly onto our pan and let this cook till golden brown mm. um on both sides and I'll show you as we go so once you get to that point you want to go ahead after it's been cooking for a little bit on one side you want to go ahead and grab it and flip it and flip it and allow it to cook so you want this to cook on both ends so this nice and golden in all corners okay so these are pretty much done and what we're going to do is that we're going to open them and stuff them with cheese. So, just be careful because it's hot. So, you want to just run a knife, which is what I was doing beforehand, right in the center. And we're going to form kind of like a little pocket. See? And what we're going to do in that pocket is that we are going to stuff it with whatever cheese you're gonna you want to stuff it with in my case I'm adding mozzarella and we're gonna pop it right back in here and allow that to completely melt in now this one I'm not stuffing and these I'm gonna put away so because I'm gonna put away I'm not and I'm not stuffing I'm just gonna remove it and set it aside and continue to cook my arepas until they are all ready. So there you have it. Ahí las tienen. Ahí están las arepas. And I'm going to actually show you the one that I did that I filled. And I want to, I want to, look, look. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Look at this. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Mm. Yes. You can serve this. Mmm. Mmm. Just like this. Straight up. Or you could make yourself a sunny side up egg and just serve it with a sunny side up egg. Or you could make a salad and serve it over a salad. You could do wonders with this thing. This is simply arepas done my way and I hope you enjoyed this video I'm gonna enjoy my arepa and I will see you guys on the next video don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell that way when I put up a video you guys get it first Hashtag garlic is life. Even though this has no garlic, you can just put a little garlic mojito on top. Good to go. No se olviden darle like.
y suscribirse al canal y darle a la campanita para cuando yo ponga un video a ustedes le llegue primero. Gracias por pasar el tiempo aquí conmigo en mi cocina. Que Dios me los bendiga a todos. Y nos veremos en el próximo video. God bless you all. And I will see you all on the next video. Bye.